Hi guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. I'm gonna tell you what happened. It's Monday. I was supposed to start this vlog in the morning and I did. I vlog so much this morning. We went to the gym together. I show you everything that I did at the gym. I show you me going to Publix, getting my energy drink. I talk a bunch. I try an Uncrustable with peanut butter and honey and I show you that as well. I show you my lunch. We were talking, we were chatting. I was giving you a little review about this book. I did everything right. I drop my memory card and it stopped working. Completely, completely. <laughs> and I got so upset, but at the same time I was like, breathe Danny, you know, everything happens for a reason. And like, what am I supposed to do? Cry? That's not gonna fix the problem, right? I'm a little upset still just because I blocked the entire week last week and I had all the footage in the memory car. You guys, I blocked the entire Crescent City party with Caitlyn, the release of the book. I literally block the entire reading block of this book so that I could talk to you and show you my reactions and show you everything about this book. deleted i lost it i lost all the footage so you're not gonna get a reading block from this book but i am gonna tell you my rating it's 3.8 i loved it i really enjoy reading it but i'm being more critic with my reviews with my ratings this year so that's the reason why but honestly in order of like sarah j mass books we have first place of course throne of glass you guys already know my favorite second one akatar also one of my favorites, Nesta, it's my favorite character in Akatar, and of course in Throne of Glass, Aileen. This one, the female main character, Bryce, not my favorite. This book, I was cringing. I was cringing with Bryce. I hope you get to read it. Actually, you guys, and I talked about this earlier, but like since I lost the footage, I want to continue on with my life you guys know that i struggle with a eating disorder that was absolutely awful and i literally share my whole story and share my whole journey with it and recovering from it and if you want to know more about it i have like multiple videos talking about fear foods and body image and stuff like that bloating my weight gain all of that but there comes a time where you just feel like you have nothing else to say about it you know because you are in such a different place you're in a such a better place than where, where you used to be that those kind of topics i just don't really want to talk about anymore i have talked about it so much that i just i just got tired you know i'm not the same girl that i used to be i am a completely different person and i am so proud of myself for everything that i have overcome if you're not here to support my new journey i don't know what what to tell you but i i mean this is such a better place right now i love living right now i love reading my books i love spending time with my family i love going on hinge and going on dates with people with guys i love giggling with my books and imagine imagining everything in my brain i love going on pinterest i'm just a girl you know i struggle a lot in the past with an eating disorder and I am in a much better place. I do want to continue to gain weight because of my health issues in the past couple of months. You guys already know I literally show you when I went to the emergency room. I show you the urgent care visit when I had bronchitis, when I had the awful constipation that I was literally in tears. All of that of course affected my body and it's now the time where I am like hey I really want to get myself back on track physically because I know mentally I can do it but I'm still just a girl and it's hard for me in this society of course to make up my mind of like hey I really need to focus on like weight gain and like make myself eat more even if I don't have the appetite to eat more but I just want to share everything in my life I just want to block my life and share with you guys because you guys are like my best friends I love talking to you guys every single week I get excited about taking my camera and talking to you guys about my week and everything that's been going on and my books and showing you recipes and meal ideas I love you guys so much you guys seriously changed my life and I am forever grateful for that so thank you so much for everyone that keeps supporting me with 
everything and all my book obsessions and my passions and my hobbies and my recovery literally everything i have nothing else to say i have talked for seven minutes so this is a good intro for my weekly little blog i love talking to you guys mm. we're gonna reset okay tomorrow we're gonna do the exact same thing i did today we're gonna go to Publix, get my energy drink go to the gym show you that like i'm just gonna pretend that nothing happened okay positive attitude is not what happens to you is how you react perfect just woke up i am feeling a little rough yesterday i was having a little back pain so i took ibuprofen pm and those always knock me out so i was down anyways just woke up need to wash my face and we're gonna have an amazing day restart of the day i ordered a new card a new memory card so that we can start recording our videos once again and i'm gonna make my bed get ready comment below if you actually put on makeup when you go to the gym because i actually do i don't know i i want to feel better i feel like when you feel better when you feel like you're put together you do better you know and you interact with the word better i feel like but i don't know you let me know chuck water make a snack or breakfast i don't even know it's like 7 30 whatever i crave and then we're going to the gym okay let's go okay we're ready bed made makeup done hair done outfit done i'm wearing the same sweater because it's like literally clean so why would i why i'm so excited let's go get our energy drink because we need it we actually do need it let's go now it's the hardest decision which one do i pick which flavor do i want today i'm gonna show you my favorite flavor So good. Caitlyn hates this one. It's the way I'm getting upset because I don't have a Valentine's. back and i i'm gonna start a new youtube video but um i just realized that i have a bunch of videos on my phone with the crescent city party that i went to and i really wanted to tell you guys about it because i got so excited and i am so sad that i don't have the footage anymore but i had so much fun i didn't expect to go i wasn't supposed to go because i pre-ordered my book on target november i think it was and it was supposed to come february 2nd and i was like okay i might have to wait but that's okay and and then I saw Sergeant Mass posting her new website and actually saying like, hey, you can go to the release party. And I was like, 
I have never done that before. And I was gonna go by myself and then I talked to Caitlyn because I was like, there's no way like someone is like this, I don't know, obsessed or like have this kind of passion for books as much as I am, but she is. She's one of my best friends and she was like, heck yes, girl. Like I really wanna go too. So she picked me up and we went there. I record everything and I'm so mad. I don't have the footage anymore, but I'm gonna try to insert as much as I can. We are here. Books a million. There's a line already. Um, I hope we get to have the limited edition stuff. <laughs> Enemies to lovers. Oh my oh god! god. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I like that little plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with Raxus? Is that how you say that? Yeah. Yeah. So cool. Oh, 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 it's almost 9.30, so almost getting in. I hope so. It's 9.24. 9.24 p.m. You guys, six minutes. This is the line. Uh, I hope we get the um, special edition. I'm going to cry if we're not. <laughs> Yay! Yay, guys! Yay! Thank you. 28, 28, 27, 27 and 28. Is my we number. got it. We got it. We got it. Yes, Caitlin. Yes, 27 and 28. Video 28 and 27. Water over here. Look, anyone's hungry or thirsty? We do have. They do have chairs. I'm gonna bring that cards. I don't know. There's here. Okay. It's gonna be fantasy. Can I ask them? Because you can ask them, right? Guys, we're playing something uh, to look for books all around here. So it has like questions and you need to find the book with the question. I don't know. I need to find one with a map. I think this is, this is one with a map, right? The, the A book that is last in the series of four. Book that is last in, in a, a series, series of, of four plus. plus. Yep. This is what we're looking for. So cute, considering that we did it in here. Oh, I just started filming. Not me, I'm bad at this. So okay, give me another, give me another. <laughs> I get that though too. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I've got back. Now give me side. Beautiful, beautiful side. Gorgeous, amazing. Did you want hey, to who's last there? in line? What number are you? Oh, last so in line, cute. what number? You're 40? Okay, thank you. The hype, the vibe, the community was amazing. Just being surrounded by people that like the same things that you do was amazing. And we played that game and it was so fun and we had to like run around. It was like 50 prompts. Caitlin and I lost both, <laughs> but it was so fun. And then at 12, I met incredible girls. I We exchanged Instagrams and everything. We were all so excited and happy and it was just an incredible time. And I'm so, so happy I went. I got of my comfort zone got out of my comfort zone thought that i was gonna do like a 24 hour readathon and i was so excited i was like yeah let's do it like so many youtubers booktubers have done it like i should be able to do it i'm so excited let's see let's see how this goes <laughs> Girl, I cannot. And the reason why is that I realized that whenever I go to bed, I kind of reset my body in a way. So you guys know that I struggle with fibromyalgia. So my body is in pain like kind of 24 seven. Something different hurts every single day. So for example, yesterday at night, my back was killing me, but during the day, it was my leg and my, my little toe, my big toe actually of my right leg. It's just like, so random like for no reason and one day i could be like sleeping in the wrong side or like ah uh, two days ago i was reading a book like laying down and my neck kind of a spasm and i started having a lot of pain and my mom did a little massage i tried to like do breathing exercises and stuff like that and it kind of worked a little bit so 
that's what I'm saying. When I go to bed, I just feel like I reset my body like completely and I just feel so much better when I wake up. Like I'm just like, whenever I'm having a bad day, bad pain day, I just say to myself, it's okay, I'm just gonna go to bed tomorrow will be a better day. So that's what happened. And that day I came back at like 1 a.m. and I was like, ah, I got this. You guys, I had a nosebleed out of nowhere. And I recorded that, like I had it on video, but like I lost the footage. Uh, anyways, the thing is that I love sleep way too much and I don't think I could be able to do that. I also struggle with ADHD and it's hard for me to focus for so long, like 24 hours. I don't think I will even enjoy it, you know? I think I'll be just like reading because I have to for the video and I wouldn't be like enjoying the book that I'm reading. Anyways, I'm talking too much. Let's go and make a snack. I'm gonna make the same snack as yesterday, I think so, just because I really wanted to show you and I couldn't yesterday. Okay, so this is a tea, it's lemon flavor, and oops, and I'm gonna show you. I have one left because I've been eating one every day. I just loved it. It's the honey one. One of you told me on Instagram to try the one with pe with its peanut butter and chocolate. Um, so that one I'm gonna buy next whenever I'm done with this. I have one left, literally one left. And we have some yogurt on the side and I'm actually waiting for the air fryer to be done. I do recommend to put your Uncrustables on the air fryer. Okay, I think we're done. This is how it looks like, see? like that and now we're just gonna open it it's a little frozen inside still and i actually love that look looks like that <laughs> okay you guys need to try this i'm gonna have my snack i'm gonna read for a little bit and i will catch with you later as i told you i'm recording a new youtube video and it's gonna be all about other books um you will see Mm -hmm. Okay, so it has been a couple of hours. I actually do need to take my vitamin D. I changed and also I've been reading in my bed, but ugh, I always drop them. Mm. Oh my gosh, I was laying in my bed and I paint my nails before that. Red color because of Valentine's Day and I guess February. I don't know. I wanted to show you the things that I got at the Crescent City party because they're so cute. So I got a bunch of stickers like this. This is Aileen and Rowan from Throne of Glass. Aileen is my favorite if you know that. Yeah, you know, I always talk about her. And we got some bookmarks. This is kind of cute. We got another bookmark. This one is from Akator. Vera likes painting and there's three sisters. She has two sisters and she painted like her desk. I don't know how to say that. Uh, the the three little things according to each of the sisters. So this one's supposed to be Elaine. Elaine. This one is, of course, Nesta, my favorite. And the Nightcore for Fira. And then we have this one, Crescent City. Kind of cute. And we got a bunch of stickers because a bunch of girls were giving a stickers to each other. And this is also for the refrigerator. See? Oh, good. Cute. I don't know where to put my stickers. I now have a bunch of stickers. And the last thing that I got at the party was this little bracelet. It says, damn it, Danica, which is from Crescent City. Anyways, I just came to say that and came to show you my nails, my new nails for Valentine's Day. <laughs> This is an okay bar for running into you. 
It's an awful house And I wanted to get you out I'm working on a plan right now To come through I've waited for a lifetime for you To calm down Oh, nothing feels the same without you I'm getting ready to go to a coffee shop today. I'm switching up my routine. I think that's one of the things that helps me the most. Just in general, switching up my routine, not sticking to something like 24-7 uh, schedule of every single week, every single day doing the same thing because then life becomes like super repetitive, I feel like. And I just want to get out, take a breath, do something else. I'm going to work on my computer. I told you guys... <laughs> I actually told you, but it got deleted, remember? I said in the last video that I wanted to make it a goal to do the same things that I do usually at home, outside of my home. So if I like reading, maybe go and read somewhere else, like a coffee shop or something. It's kind of hard because to be honest, I live in the middle of nowhere. So it's kind of hard to find places to go to, but I will try my best, even if I have to drive somewhere so that I can meet people and I can see other people and change my environment. I think that will help me a lot with mental health as well, hopefully. So I need to go work on my computer. Um, I'm taking my computer, I'm taking my SD card and I have a new memory, <laughs> finally. I have this little memory. I also bought a little case and it comes I think today or tomorrow so that I can put it in there and not drop it but that's what we're gonna do right now taking my camera of course what else do I need my computer is in here my headphones are in the car and myself <laughs> that's all we need so we're gonna try a new coffee shop and let's see how it is I've never been there before so let's go see wait I think I'm also taking my journal um, I started a new journal. I took like this little random notebook that Instagram gave me in one of the events that I went to. And I started like from fresh February. And then this is my reading journal, which I really want to update. But I think that I decided because I have so many things in my mind that I'm gonna start doing my reading journal, like updating my reading journal on Sundays. Like that's gonna be a Sunday activity. And yeah, cause like I cannot like do it all every single day. Anyways, I'm ready. Before going there, I actually do wanna eat something here. Oh, it's gonna, I'm gonna drop it. One second. Ah, I'm probably gonna pack a snack for later. But since I am on my cooking era, I'm actually gonna show you what I made cause I know you guys want more ideas and stuff like that. So today we got a burrito. It's an egg and cheese burrito. I also added mushrooms and green beans because I didn't have any spinach and I'm trying to eat a little bit more like veggie and, and stuff like that. So also I'm having a coffee. Uh, this one is decaf because we're going there. ended up changing the outfit that I was wearing because of course I don't know of course but I wasn't like in a going out outfit I was in like a workout mood outfit and I'm decided I'm not gonna work out today I need to talk about this you guys I don't know if I'm the only one I 
stress myself so much about being productive and productivity and I feel like I was getting over it I was like feeling better with that because when I used to read a lot of self-help books I was feeling like my life was just awful and I needed to change every single thing in my life and I was just feeling not like myself so I stopped doing that and I started doing whatever makes me happy and whatever but I don't know why I started like watching blogs from like other girls and I started seeing like how organized they are with like their content and like other content creators like organized they are with their content and like they have like different schedules and like morning routine night routine workout routine is this one and content ideas and like when to upload what time to upload stuff like that i do not have that and i try this morning to like do that and organize myself with like stuff like that and like put together everything on a notion template i don't know why i end up stressing myself so much and i end up not using it at all feeling awful and never going back again to that and feeling unproductive and feeling awful with myself i don't know i kind of like i'm learning more and more more and more about myself and i want to learn if i am the type of girl that likes to see something in paper or if i I like to have like in my computer my notes my brain my brain is all over the place and I just need to understand and you also if you struggle with this that all of our brains do not work the same way and what works for them maybe doesn't work for me I just feel like ever since I was a kid I was this way just like following whatever everyone else was doing you know in Mean Girls when like the female main character not not the main character but like I don't know their names, I'm sorry. But like the, the girl that is like the mean girl, like the principal mean girl. And then the two girls that are always with her do whatever she says. So I was one of the side characters, if you know what I mean, when I was a kid. So now that I'm growing up and that like I'm an adult and stuff, making choices for myself and finding what works for me it's kind of hard because I'm so used to doing what everyone else is doing that it's just hard for me to make my own choices my own decisions my own concept about myself I feel like I don't know how to explain it I might have to journal a lot with this like a lot <laughs> just one more breath one day at a time we got this decided I wanted something sweet for lunch so I made something sweet for lunch because we all need that sweetness in our life right right and I haven't had like this protein pancakes in a while like a while there's like literally a hair in here ew why am I like this I need to literally tie my hair before cooking because that's not great taste test <music> Very freaking good. Love it. 10 out of 10. We'll do it again. My mom has physical therapy now, Mondays and Wednesdays. So I'm waiting for her. She was supposed to be here at 4.10 because her physical therapy is at 5. But it's already 4.24 and she's not here. So I'm waiting for her to come back home. I'm having a snack. This is yogurt bowl with chocolate granola, banana and raspberries. And I'm reading my book. I feel better. I wrote my goals and the things that I want to do, that I, Danny, want to do. Sat with myself in the afternoon took a piece of paper and literally brain dump everything that was on my mind everything that i want for my life in the future without anyone telling me what they like and me imitating them you know what i mean and i feel so much better right now i think i need to go to sephora because i don't have any more concealer and i need to get some i think that's it i literally love yogurt banana bowls so much <laughs> I'm ready I'm getting ready to go to the gym but remember I told you that I wanted to go buy a concealer at Sephora well my mom was like you know what let's not go to Sephora just because we went to Target and she was like just buy it here so I was like okay 
I got this new concealer from e.l.f. and I think the shade... I think no. It's pretty clear that this is not my color. I'm trying to get you on my mind less. But then again I couldn't mind less. Got me like, what's in your coffee? I hope you call me and we can talk about our hobbies. Yeah. Like finding movies to get lost in. And you guys, I got this book yesterday. Look at it. Look at it. It's called Come Hungry. And I'm gonna make this toast. A stiletto snack. Look, so good. Also, I got lactose free cottage cheese. Perfect. You guys, the pancakes were too good yesterday not to have them again. I'm about to upload another YouTube video, the one from Binge Eating, which is working with a brand. They told me I am able to post it today. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm recording another video, which I'm very excited about because I'm about to finish a book and I will tell you everything about it when I am done. And, and when I'm able to edit the video and like tell you all about my books that I've been reading this week. So excited about it. Then I eat my pancakes in my office and work. I've been feeling so much better today. You guys have no idea. Like so, so, so much better. I was able to write out like a little morning routine for me that will work for me. And I'm already so excited. I also did a little blog of my morning for TikTok and I really liked how it looked like and that's what matters. Even if it doesn't get lots of comments or likes, whatever. I like how it looked like and I'm proud of it. That is all I need. Friends call me stupid, call me crazy Well, so long to send a dude Okay, I'm done. I just finished posting that. I really just want to close this and don't look at the comments or anything because I get like, I get a little, I don't know, insecure about posting about my past and the eating disorder and stuff because I don't really want to be part of the eating disorder community anymore. I don't want people to follow me for eating disorder stuff because I'm not that girl, okay? I struggle a lot for a long time. <sighs> To find a new identity beyond how my body looks like and my story with an eating disorder. And I'm way much more than just an eating disorder or I hate or anorexia so much. I hate it so much. I just want to be me and I just want to block my life and show you my life after an eating disorder. And this is literally the last video that I'm going to be making about bloating, fear foods, just stuff like that. And... Instead, we're gonna be talking more about self-love. We're gonna be talking more about new hobbies, life in your 20s, dating life, because I've been talking to a lot of guys and I'm so excited. Uh, self-worth, um, all of that, that truly res resonates. How do you say that word? Like, that identifies me, you know? Like, I like to talk about books. I like to talk about boys. I like to talk about um, makeup, doing new makeup that I truly need a new concealer that is not this one because like this one is not working i like to talk about food in a positive way um i love all of the all of that all of those things so this is gonna be like the last one that i'm gonna be posting like that i think so hopefully hopefully and i just did it because i think this app that asked me to do this video could be very helpful for a lot of people a lot of girls that have not been able to find support or like professional help like outside of like the internet and this is like a good thing like this could be a good thing for a lot of girls so that's why i'm posting about it because i think it could be helpful that is it <laughs> i'm gonna finish eating good morning you guys i just got ready we are going to a coffee shop with a friend and she is a night shift no nurse okay so this is the outfit I already show you and the little I don't know hairstyle please please send me new hairstyles for me to try because I want to try something new with my hair but I have no idea what but also I'm bringing her a little package hair package kind of <laughs> just like little protein bars that I have she drinks a lot of caffeine because she's a night shift nurse nurse that's so hard for me to say night shift nurse 
So I'm bringing, I'm bringing her burp barbs. I have a bunch, like literally every single flavor. And also some stickers because she also loves reading and she loves Akatar. And these are like Akatar stickers that I got at the event. And it's gonna be nice. I'm super excited. So let's go right now. Oh my gosh, that's so convenient. I know, I literally don't have anything on it. Like Maybe because people out there be nosy and they don't need to know what I'm reading. Friday night, it's nine o'clock. Of course, Chick fil A. I have been in a little pain a lot, so I've been just taking it easy. Uh, the shin is not doing okay. My PT um, put me a little bit. I already showed you, I think so. He put me this again. And I think I'm just gonna end the vlog today because I've been feeling super tired, and tomorrow is Saturday, and I wanna edit my videos and just take it easy i don't want to film a lot i just want to relax because i've been feeling physically and mentally burnt out from everything haven't been able to sleep well just really not feeling the best but i got chick-fil-a of course <laughs> once a week okay once a week i need to go i'm going to put half on the air fryer as always i eat both but i like to put half on the air fryer and the cheese to melt i don't know it's one of my favorite things <laughs> and I know I eat weird stuff, but I like it. And as long as I like it, who cares? Also, I'm super excited. I feel like next week I'm gonna film, or like Sunday, I'm gonna film my American grandma. Her birthday is today. So, to Sunday, she's gonna come and we're gonna have full breakfast together, and it's gonna be so fun. My family, my mom, is gonna cook like a Colombian breakfast, and I will show you that for next week. And I'm so excited to show you. So I just put half here. I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna go to bed. I am exhausted. And I just want tomorrow to be here, like now. I love you so, so much. Thank you for watching, you're the best. Kisses in the forehead if you watch the entire video. I love you so much, you're amazing. You guys, I was gonna say bye, but then I got a package and now I <laughs> I need to show you and I also need to say thank you to Nicole because she wrote a book. She wrote a book. She sent me the book for me to read it. And I opened the first page and this is the first thing that comes in there. I already cried. You guys have no idea how much this means to me and today I was having a hard day and this just made my day so much better. Thank you so, so much, Nicole. You're amazing. Never true. And it's not personal.